Do you utilize Salesforce and need to create a fillable form? Let me show you how with Job Form for Salesforce. Hey, Jetformers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly, and as you can see, I am currently in the desktop version of my Salesforce account. Now, if you already have Salesforce and a Jotform account, all you need to do is grab Jotform from the App Exchange and log in with an existing account. Now, if you have Salesforce and you have been looking for a form builder, Jotform is the one for you. You can do it just the same way. Head to the App Exchange and sign in with a new free account. Now, from here, I'm gonna head up to the very top. We already have Jotform installed, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on my Jotform tab. And as you can see, if you are familiar with Jotform, this looks just like your dashboard. So in order to create this fillable form, let's head up to the top left-hand corner and create a brand new form. And we can either start from scratch, we can create a Salesforce form, we can use a template, we can import a form, or we can create a signable document. So for this example, let's go ahead and create a Salesforce form. And the first thing we need to do is we need to identify which object we would like. So let's go ahead and use our account object. And from here, it is looking at the fields that are in our account object, and it's going to create Jotform fields based on those. So for this example, we already have their name, which is perfect. Let's go ahead and do their account phone and their website. And I think this is good. So let's go ahead and create that form. And here you go, we have that account name, we have the account phone number, and then we also have the website. Now, if there are any fields that aren't in our account tab that we would like to account for, we can add some new ones over on the left-hand side. So maybe we want their email address, we can put that in right here. And we can even choose the properties to make these all required, perfect. And you can see right here, this field is connected within Salesforce and we'll make this last one required as well. Now, in order to make this a fillable form or a form that is pre-filled out, which is going to save your users a ton of time, we're gonna head up to the very top. We're gonna choose publish. Then on the left-hand side right here, we have pre-fill. And you can see there are a ton of different ways that you can pre-fill your forms. We can manually pre-fill. We can pre-fill from other forms that we have from tables, from spreadsheets, from single sign-ons, but down here at the bottom, we have Salesforce pre-fill. So let's go ahead and choose this option and we'll choose which Salesforce list to pull from. We'll do contacts for this case. Then it went ahead and mapped some fields for us. Let's go ahead and pull their name as well. We'll save those settings. And now that we have that set up, we can start creating a new prefill. So we'll choose right here, add a new prefill. Now we can create multiple prefilled opportunities and we can also select all if we want. So let's go ahead and create each of these. And here we see each one of them has their own forms. Now we can choose here if we want it to be editable or read only for this, I do want them to be able to add or edit anything that needs to be edited. But from here, we can click on the three dots all the way to the right. We can send the invitation, we can copy that URL, we can rename it if we want, or we can delete it, or we can choose to select or select all. We can download, we can send that invitation, or we can delete. But let's go ahead and click on Jeff's. Let's see what this looks like. And as you can see, it loaded all of that data for us. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna change the email real quick. And let's go ahead and change that phone number. And then we will make Jeff's website. Perfect, so let's go ahead and submit. Perfect, so let's go ahead and head back. And from here, the great thing about this is not only is this information in our Salesforce account, but it is also in Jotform tables. So in the top left-hand corner, we have form builder. So let's switch it over to tables. And here we have Jeff's information. Perfect. So let's head up to our account tab and let's check over in Salesforce. And here is Jeff's updated information. And it really is as simple as that. So if you have any questions about utilizing Jotform with Salesforce for creating a pre-filled form, let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get a notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.